Uh, it's been a while since I've actually filmed the vlog, but uh, I don't know, I've been busy and too bad. So, uh, yep, stuff's happened since then and uh, my Garmin, I hate it. It still works, but it just fails sometimes and it just shits me off. So, I've uh, upgraded to the Wahoo Element Bolt. Wahoo is awesome. So, yeah, I'm going to test this out and uh, make sure it's freaking awesome. As awesome as everyone says. And um, yeah, so pretty much just going to have a look at what is in the box and that's it. Alright, so when you get it, you just slide it on out and out pops the Wahoo. And um, slides out, the Wahoo's just in the front, just here. So uh, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it just comes with a little, little bit of plastic on the front. And um, my main issue when I was buying this was that I didn't have the like the mounts and I had the cage mounts and everything but all you have to do is go and buy these little converters and just sweep. So so I'm gonna put these on the bike now. But minor uh, meltdown that was completely my fault. So when you're uh, when you're putting this on, so this little doohickey here, this little blue bit. So uh, when you're putting that on, make sure you use the screws that come with the little blue doohickey if you're changing from a GoPro, I mean like from a Garmin to a Wahoo because um, those screws are important and they're shorter and uh, the GoPro mount underneath, they mount in the same holes. So bottom line, use the screws that come with the... Alright, uh, that's one bike done. I've got to do the wheelie now. Alright, so what comes in the box is the aero mount. I'm not using that, clearly. Um, I don't know what this is. It's this little, uh, oh, it's a handlebar mount. Handlebar mount. Some zip ties and uh, the USB charging cable, which is just a normal USB. It's the same as a Garmin, so that can stay in the box. Uh, yeah, so I always keep the box in case I sell it or, you know, in the future you sell it. So uh, I'll be selling my Garmin with the Garmin mount and the uh, speed and cadence sensors. It still works, it's fine. But I just didn't want to use a Garmin anymore. You've heard me complain about it, so I'm getting rid of it. You gotta download the uh, Wahoo Element app, uh, which is what I'm doing right now. You would think I would have downloaded it previously, but clearly I'm super busy. I'm actually super busy, I've been working and uh, training and everything. So let's all just calm down. I'm, I'm not just like being lazy. The complete opposite of being lazy. So thank you for all your concerned comments about no vlogs, but I'm, I'm just I'm such a busy person. I mean, I'm out contributing to society with an actual real life job, so that's how I can make money. Okay, so I'm going to turn this on for the first time. Shut up, Garmin. Nobody cares about you. Anyway, I'm going to turn this on for the first time right now. Oh. Scan using companion app. So, oh, it's playing music in my head. Skip. Okay. Okay. All right, so you just, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but you just put the scanner up to it. Paired to phone. See that? Element found. Pair. I'm just going ahead and uh, logging into Strava and stuff and making it all connect up. So I'm going to do that now. So now it just um, just asks you your height and all those personal type details. So I'm just going to put those in. Your element is ready to ride. That was so quick and simple. I'm so in And then it's telling me how to use my app. Alright, so I want to set it up very similar to my uh, Garmin. So my Garmin screen at the moment looks like this, uh, like this. Um, so it's got power, three second power, heart rate, uh, speed, time, cadence, distance, and temperature. Um, so that's my main screen that I use. And then I use this one for intervals. Uh, and then this one is just like all the information, except for that shit, because that does nothing. But uh, I'm gonna set up these two screens, like all these three screens on the Wahoo, which only has seven to nine pages, and these ones you can have up to ten. 
Okay, I definitely uh, made that harder for myself, but it was just about getting the uh, right order and right pages and everything, but... Okay, so that's my uh, main page. It's only got seven on it there, but if we zoom out, that's in, we zoom out, it's got uh, meters climbed and normalized power on there, so I thought I'd just add those in. Uh, it'll normally just look like that though, and then you go across to the next page, that's my interval page. It's got the usual stuff in it. In, uh, and then a page with just data with intensity factor, training stress score, stress scores, kilojoules, normalized power, last lap, last lap power. So, and max watts. So that's just FYI. Anyway, I mean, that's just the, my first look at it. Um, yeah, so if you hit the power button just once, it goes to this uh, sort of settings page uh, where you can pick the backlight on, off, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and uh, it has like your battery percentage and stuff. So I think when you're, when you're in this page and you, you press start, uh, I'm sure you can go back so you can see the battery percentage and stuff. So it's, it's pretty cool. I think it's gonna be good, I'm keen. I was just over the Garmin, the Garmin just had to go, so. So that wasn't really an exciting vlog at all, but you know, it was a vlog, so. Um, I'm back to normal vlogging tomorrow. I'm going to go for a ride to the muffins to get muffins and uh, yeah, should be back to normal uh, doing regular vlogs. Not daily, but regular and uh, I'll let you guys know what I'm up to tomorrow. I've got some races coming up and um, that's what I'm training for. Shut these dogs. Look at that. See you on the next one.